if your Valorant game is stuck on the loading screen like this, then in this tutorial, I will guide you on how to resolve this issue. Make sure to follow these instructions very carefully. Now, most of the time, this issue is caused by driver updates or driver issues. Now, I'll follow the steps here. Now, start by deleting this config folder, which is found on this directory here. Now, make sure to copy this, which is percent local app data percent, and then press window key plus R, and then type this, which is percent local app data percent, just like so. After typing this, just click OK. Now, this will open your local app data. Now, make sure to look for the Valorant folder. So, go to the V section here, and then you'll see the Valorant. Now, here the Valorant folder, make sure to open it, and then make sure to open safety. And then you see the configure file. You just need to delete this by right click on it. And then you see an option to delete this folder. Now, after deleting this folder, warning, it might reset your crosshairs. So after that, try to relaunch the game and then check if the issue has been resolved. Now, if you're still facing again the same problem, switch your GPU to dedicated mode. Now, if you're on a Legion, if you're using Lenovo Legion and using Lenovo Vantage like me, you can simply select DGPU mode on GPU working mode and restart your laptop. So if you're using Lenovo Legion or Lenovo gaming laptops and you're using Lenovo Vantage like me, you can simply select DGPU mode on GPU working mode and restart your laptop and your issue should be just resolved. If you use HP Omen, open the Omen Gaming Hub app, then go to Performance, and then select Graphics Switcher, and then change it from Hybrid to Discrete Mode. So if you're using HP Omen, open the Omen Gaming Hub app, then go to Performance, then select Graphics Switcher, and then change it from Hybrid to Discrete Mode. If you have an Intel GPU, make sure to download this graphics driver, which is Intel Archi Graphics. The link will be available on the description of this video. So if you have an Intel GPU, ensure that you download this. It's very important. The link will be available on the description of this video. Also click that link, make sure to download this executable file and install it on your PC. It had the size like 1.1 GB, make sure to download it. Lots of people with Intel graphics drivers were able to resolve this issue by just downloading this Intel Arc graphics. So after downloading it, make sure to install this and then your issue should just be resolved. If it still doesn't work, make sure to download this Intel Driver Support Assistant. Also, the link will be available on the description of this video. You just need to use this tool to see a curated list of available updates for your identified Intel drivers and products. So if you download this and it doesn't work, make sure to download this Intel Driver Support Assistant. The link will also be available on the description of this video. It's very important after make sure to download it and install this executable file after installing it you can use this tool to see a curated list of available updates for your identified intel drivers and products if you all fails try reinstalling your graphics drivers now you can reinstall your graphics drivers by using this ddu which is display driver and installer you can download it from the gurus 3d official page the link will be available on the description as well so make sure to download it after go clicking that link it will take you to this page here also this page here this is a display driver and installer make sure to select here download after downloading it it will be a zip file so once it's a zip file make sure to go to your download section and make sure to install to just extract this zip file by right click on it and then select here winrar extract files then click ok open this folder here and then make sure to you'll see this application here which is a 7-zip you need to run this application again and then just select extract and then you just extract the folder here and open this folder again you'll see this display driver and installer now before launching this display driver and installer you need to put your pc into safe mode now to put your pc into safe mode you just need to type here on ms config to open this system configuration now select here boot then make sure to check this safe boot and then click apply also click apply and then click ok your pc will restart into safe boot now i'm I'm not going to put my pc into safe boot since I, if i do so my pc will restart that i'll not be able to record this video but for you you need to put your pc into safe boot by checking this safe boot and then apply changes click ok now also put your pc into safe boot now open this display driver and installer now once you open it Make sure to select the device here, which is GPU, and then it will fetch your GPU, which is automatically will be NVIDIA. Now, make sure to select here, clean and restart, which is highly recommended. Also select here, clean and restart. Your PC will now restart. After that, after your PC has, has restarted, 
Now make sure to go into your manufacturer site and download the latest GPU. So if you're using Nvidia, you can go to the Nvidia website. The link will be available on the description of this video. Or if you're using AMD, I'll also put the link on the description for AMD as well as Intel. Now if you're using Nvidia, you can just come here and perform a manual driver search. So just yes, select here GeForce RTX if you're using 40 series, select 40 and then choose the I'm using RTX 4060 for, for you, you need to choose which is tailored for you. But for me, it's like this and select, select here find. Now, Nvidia will try to find the best drivers for you and it will suggest the drivers. Now, it will, it will just take you to the driver page here. You can just start by downloading the latest driver. You can just select here view and then you can select here download. After downloading this latest driver, try to install it and probably your issue should just be resolved. Now, if the latest driver doesn't work, some people suggested that you can try rolling back to the previous one. So on this page, you can just come back here and then look for the previous versions and then also try to install them as well and the issue should just be resolved. Make sure to follow these instructions very carefully and I hope this has helped you and I see you next time.